Hello everyone, this is uh, Ice Slice here. I thought I would do a room tour. I guess we'll start up on this shelf. We got everyone's favorite manga, Bleach. Got one through 34. Really, Bleach was probably the first manga that I dropped. It was really cool up until a point and then I kind of fell off of it. You can kind of tell when I fell off of it. If you know when these were being published in uh, America. Feels kind of the same thing over and over after a certain point. I got Scott Pilgrim right there. One of the best comic series ever. Scott Pilgrim is one of those weird things where every version of it is awesome. The game is awesome. The series that it started it was awesome. And the movie's awesome. I got a... Uh, Parasite Complete here. I got a bunch of random books back here, like the New 52, some strategy guides, some school books, Star Wars, Del Toro Quest. Del Toro Quest was the shit when I was a kid. And random other stuff here. We got, um, The Tomb. Huh? A really strange series that uh, my friend and I really liked. It's kind of funny. Uh, we actually started watching it because uh, there's a girl, this girl, with boobs. And uh, we were kind of joking about it. And when we watched it, we actually ended up really liking it. It had a really compelling story outside of the, the titties. The titties! Behind that, we've got my disgusting 3-in-1 complete of uh, Full Metal Alchemist. I didn't know that uh, Full Metal Alchemist had like a box set or I would have instantly bought it because uh, three and ones are kind of crap but I was like yeah it's the cheapest way to get it uh, right here we got all of um, Food Wars or a good chunk of Food Wars I think I'm two or three volumes behind at this point really really good series I uh, watch the show and read it and I think they're both really cool it's very interesting a shonen where uh you fight with food. Got Nausicaa there. Because I really like Studio Ghibli, I thought it was cool that there was a manga of it. And the story behind it's really cool, too. That he actually made this, and the money he got from this actually funded the first Studio Ghibli film, which is awesome. We got a little bit of uh, Hunter x Hunter here. Not complete, because Hunter x Hunter is expensive as shit to collect nowadays. Kind of like another series I'm going to show you later. Really good. I really like the show. The uh, the manga is is still really good, but it uh, the art kind of fluctuates from what I've read. Ugh. And down here we have Naruto. Pretty much all of it. I really like Naruto up until about um the part where Pain gets defeated and. Uh, the war really grated on me, and I think as soon as uh, the series ended, I stopped I stopped collecting it. So, I got all the way up until 64, but I don't have until 70. Maybe at some someday I'll, I'll finish that up. We got a Naruto fan book that my friend got me, and uh, the first three One Punch Mans, and a little bleach like art book thing. Down here we have the new Teen Titans. Ah, Platinum's End, because I thought Death Note was really cool, and I thought it was awesome that those people were making new stuff. And it's kind of just uh, miscellaneous books down here. We got some Blue Exorcist Ajin, first volume of Full Metal, first volume of Soul Eater. Got the first three volumes of Bakuman, or Bakuman. Second volume of Blue Exorcist. And, uh... Ugh. The two... The reason I own these... I don't actually think this story is very good. But I think it's awesome that, uh... This manga's in color. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's a very ridiculous, pervy story. If more mangas did that, though... Like, if One Piece did that, oh my god... 
Boner City. Got a bleach poster. We've got Attack on Titan. The first two colossal editions. I might get the third one at some point, but I might not. They're heavy as shit. They're actually cumbersome to read. But um it's a cool way to uh collect them. I've got a good chunk of fairy tale. And I don't know. I enjoy fairy tale. I fell off it for some reason. I don't think it's terrible like everyone says. There's all of the books back here. You can't really see them. But uh I got it all the way up until 40 something. I really enjoyed that while it was going. Inside my bleach box, we got some Seven Deadly Sins. I haven't read this yet, but I got a decent collection of them, one through nine. And uh, Bakuman, Ugh. another box set. Like, I, I bought the first three and I realized this existed, so I kind of bit the bullet and went online and actually ordered the uh, the full thing. So I have the first three and then I have the full series here, along with this really cool notebook. It's like, um, the series is about manga artists and uh, one of the manga artists in the series writes that, that uh, story about an otter and they actually made like a chapter of it so you could read it. Which is really, really cool. It's an interesting idea to include with. It's way cooler than just a poster, which is normally what you get with these. Bunch of crap. And over here, ugh, we got my giant One Piece shrine, basically. Some of these um, boat figures that my girlfriend and I put together. We got Going Merry. Thousand Sunny and Bo Hancock's ship. Got a Frankie figurine and a Brooke. Nami. Nami, I think that's one of my favorite ones. It's a really cool scene. We got all of this until this part, which my girlfriend's boring right now. An interesting thing is uh, number 11. I can show you if I move Brooke here. Is actually a misprint. When I ordered it from Amazon, um, like the gold, the old, the old volumes had, uh, golden text in, uh, in these areas that look really white. You can see, like, the skull has no details on it. And it sent me two of them, and I'm wondering if this is actually worth something. It's really cool. Anyway. If not, I'll just hold on to it. We got those figures. We got up to date. Whenever a new One Piece comes out, I always get it. We got some more figures down here. We got two Luffy's. One of them is uh, normal post time skip. This one is like the that one's a post time skip. This one is uh, tenth or fifteenth anniversary for I think the anime. Put this little cape back on. It always falls off. There he is. Uh, we got Moggy 1 through 21. I know I'm a couple behind on that. But Moggy is really good. I want to keep collecting that. I just haven't. Because uh, money is a problem. It always is. Here's my computer. Got some PlayStation games here. I used to have my PlayStation set up here. I moved it. Got some boxes, there's my computer, there's some props, Halo helmets, some hats. Up here we got some DS games, some PSP games, uh, a bunch of, when I was a kid I really liked Warhammer, so I have a bunch of paints and uh, models and rule books and stuff up here. And uh, right here is my sending shelf. So I got uh, Vegabond, a good chunk of it. All the way up until uh, volume 8. I think there's 12. Really, really cool series. 
very bloody, very uh, visceral. Uh, I want to keep collecting it, but they're pretty expensive. They're like 30, 20-ish bucks each. We got a uh, girl on the shore. That was an interesting one-shot story. It was the first one I've ever gotten. It's very emotional. I got a one through six of Berserk. It would be cool to have all of it. I would love to read the whole story, but uh, they're very expensive, actually. Uh, you, where I live, they're like almost $15 a piece, if you can even buy them on Amazon. Uh, behind there, we got Vinland Saga 1 through 6. I think there's two I don't have. I'd love to keep collecting that. I got a splash of JoJo. I got the first part, uh, Phantom Blood, and a little bit of uh, Battle Tenacity. And I got Monster. A good chunk of Monster. I, I think I'm missing three of them. Really cool story, also. And as for manga, you're just missing... Ugh. Claymore. This is a full series set. Really cool. I really enjoyed Claymore. I think Claymore uh, was really good up until the time skip. And then after the time skip, it kind of killed all of the... Uh, all of the interesting characters off, and it kind of coasted. <sighs> Very disappointing, but I liked it up until that point. It was around, it was around halfway through. Maybe, maybe a bit further. Anyway, because I had watched the uh, the show, and the show ends very abruptly. And the last one I got here is Death Note. Ooh, I've had this one for a while. 1 through 12 of it. Very, very cool. And yeah, that's my manga collection. Thank you for watching.